Hi guys, how are you doing? Thanks for tuning in. I'll ask the question today. Uh, I, I'm not going to tell you any of my opinions, but just pay your attention on the things which are happening around. I was making the videos about the cooking, about uh, you know some some house tips and things like that. But recently we've got a very difficult situation, and uh, it forced me to to look at that from a distance and something is not right it looks to me like we have a parallel parallel realities so one thing is on the media one reality is shown by the media and um yeah and the, the other are in the documents and nobody says which is true or which is untrue what is right what is wrong but there are two different versions of reality <clears throat> I know it's a pandemic but if you look at the website of WHO there is nothing like a proclamation of pandemic it's just the suggestions that it might be pandemic uh, I'm not I'm not using the name of this disease or of this um of this microbe or whatever it is but you know what I mean and recently I was searching on the you know of official websites of the government you got it in front of you and what I found in the kind of collection regarding this disease I found something very interesting. It's called Guidance for the Management of Possible or Confirmed Cases. And that's the information as of 19th of March 2020. This disease is no longer considered to be a high consequence infectious disease. The abbreviation is HCID and it's not considered as that as it in the UK so let's click this let's click this link I'll, I'll open it and it's a kind of guidance still we're still on the official website of uh, of the government and guidance says high cons consequence infectious diseases HCID and what we have status of CO VID-19 and it says as of 19 of March 2020 this disease is no longer considered to be a high consequence infectious disease HCID in the UK the four nations public health HCID group made an interim recommendation in January 2020 to classify COVID-19 as an HCID, so high consequence, etc., etc. This was based on the consideration of the UK HCID criteria about the virus and the disease with information available during the early stages of the outbreak. Now that more is known about COVID-19 with dash inside, the public health bodies in the UK have reviewed the most up-to-date information about this disease against the UK HCID criteria. They have determined that several features have now changed in particular, more information is available about mortality rates low overall in the brackets, low overall and there is a new greater clinical awareness and specific and sensitive laboratory tests, the avail availability of which continues to increase. <coughs> So the Advisory Committee on Dangerous Pathogens ACDP is also of is also of the opinion that COVID-19 should no longer be classified as an HCID, which is a very good news, don't you think? Um, 
The need to have a national co uh, coordinated response remains, but this is being met by the government's Syria response. Yeah, we've got some more information which are not so relevant. Uh, as you as you know on my channel there's, there's uh, some uh, some um, videos about uh, health well-being and things like that so i'll tell you nobody nobody broadcasts the good information we only hear on the television on the radio on my uh, way to work uh, on the radio that that the death rate and we reached the next level and that was the worst day in uh, in the, all this time because of of victims uh, yeah I'm not saying that it's not true it's it's maybe true but the thing is as much as we are petrified with the fear our immunity our immune system is going down it is natural and every each doctor will tell you that the constant stress decreases the level of immunity because the, uh, our bodies are independent. It, it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, it's not connected with what we think, but it's what we uh, had in subconscious. So constant stress which is caused by the bad news from uh, television and other mass destruction sources of media and information makes us uh, producing uh, cortisol which is a hormone of stress which not allows uh, our immune system to strengthen but it makes it weakened because it's a fight and flight mode it's not the recovery and growing mode. It's a fight and flight mode constantly. And that's why we can catch anything from the air or not from the air. We can catch, we don't have enough vitamin D3, which is a, it's a natural, not only vitamin, but a natural hormone, which should be released by the human skin to keep us healthy. So I'll tell you something, be reasonable, don't get panicked, just read only good information, switch off television, switch off radio, and don't be worried about anything. That will stop sooner or later, especially the scientists said that it is no longer considered a high consequence infectious disease so you take care keep warm and don't get in the panic mode that's all from me all the best guys and girls <laughs>